Hey everyone, welcome to my OpenStack tutorial series. In this video, I will show you how to get OpenStack compatible cloud image, how to upload it to your OpenStack and how to build a new instance and SSH into it using a public private key pair. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the upcoming videos in this OpenStack series. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to post in the comments. So the first thing that we're going to do today is go ahead and download our cloud image. And what I use usually do is in my web browser I just go to Google and search for OpenStack images and usually the very first search will be the OpenStax official web page so you can go ahead and click on this link and this will bring you to this page here in which you're going to have a list of OpenStack compatible images so for example they have zeros that's the one that we actually already did in the previous videos the one that comes default with OpenStack they have Debian, Fedora, Microsoft Windows and other operating systems with official images for OpenStack so in today's video I'm going to go ahead and download Debian one thing to note here is you can see as all these images come with default user and as you can see here they have the names of those users so take a note because we're going to need that later to connect to that instance so in my case for Debian that will be user Debian then you can go ahead and click here and this will bring you to Debian's official web page and as you can see here on this particular page we only have Debian 9 and 10 available so if you want to get like the latest Debian 12 I believe it is you're going to have to go ahead and click here on this little link here and that will bring you to a different page where you can access the latest version of the cloud image and from here I'm gonna pick bookworm since this is the latest one and from here I'm gonna go ahead and get the latest version which is this one right here right that's from 1124 yep so I'm gonna go ahead and click here and then from here I'm gonna go ahead and download this file here since I'm gonna be running an AMD 64 processor so I'll go ahead and click here and that should download that image to your local machine now while this is downloading you can go ahead and log in into your OpenStack and again if you haven't changed your username and password they should be admin and secret and once you're in here and your image is downloaded you can go ahead and click on images and then here in images you can go ahead and click on create an image you can give your image a name I'm gonna call mine Debian 12 then down here an image source you're gonna have to pick the image that you just downloaded so go ahead click on choose file and point it to that image file so it will be this one and then go ahead and click on open for format we're gonna select QCAL and you can leave the rest of the default and then I'm gonna go ahead and click create image and that would take a couple of minutes and the image will be uploaded to your OpenStack. Now once your image is uploaded you can go ahead and start your first instance. So to do that you can either go to instances and start it from there or you can just simply click on this launch button here and that will do it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it from here. So I'm gonna click on launch and then from here you can give your instance a name. I'm gonna call mine Debian 12. And go ahead and click next and in this screen you don't have to select source since we started from the source so it's pre-selected for us and as you know I like to click on the delete volume and instance delete that way it automatically deletes those volumes for me and then you can go ahead and click next here in the flavor I'm gonna pick the DS1G flavor and that will provide one CPU one gig of RAM and 10 gig of disk space to my image so I'm gonna go ahead and click this then on the next screen you're gonna have to select your network I'm gonna pick my private network go ahead and click next network ports you don't have to do anything here security group we're gonna keep to our default security group and then here on key pair now here's what you need to do something that we haven't done before is we're gonna have to either use an existing key pair if you have one or if you don't have one you're gonna have to create one and the reason why is because this instance as I mentioned earlier it has a default user but that user doesn't have a password set now if you've watched some of my previous videos we use that serious instance and we're able to connect with just username and a password and that's because the instance has default user with preset password but Debian for example does not have that they only have user that username is Debian but in order to connect to that instance you're gonna need to upload a public key to it so as I said you can either if you have an existing key you can just select it from here like since I have one this one was selected but what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna remove my key from here and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new key pair so you can see how that's done so again if you have existing you can use it you can import one so you can if you have keys on your computer you can go ahead and use the public key that you already have and upload it or what I will do is I'm gonna just generate a new key pair so 
create a new key pair, all I have to do is click on this plus sign here. You can give up key pair name, so I'm gonna call it Debian 12. And for type, you can select SSH and then go ahead and click on create key pair. Now what that will do is it will provide you with this private key here. So you can go ahead and copy this private key and make sure you copy this key because this is the last time you're going to see this key. And then you can go to your system and you can save this key. So I'm going to go ahead here and make a file. So I'm going to call the file Debian 12 key and I'm going to paste that private key into that file. Then I'm going to go ahead and save the file and then I'm going to go back here and I can go ahead and click done. So again, it's very important to make sure you have that private key saved before you close that window. Now, once we have closed that window, as you can see, our public key is saved into this keychain here. And in the future, you can just use it from here, right? So it will be here for you. So we have this key selected I'm gonna go ahead and click next you don't have to do anything here this everything else stays in the default and once you're ready you can go ahead and click on launch instance and in a couple minutes your instance should be up and running I'm gonna go ahead and click here instances so we can watch how this instance is coming up and once your instance is up and running, we're going to go ahead and associate a floating IP to it. That way we can access it from our local network. So I'm going to go ahead and click on allocate here. And then here I'm going to go ahead and click associate. And once we have that IP ready, we can go ahead and try to connect to our instance as a sage dash I, and then give it the name of the key and the username we said is going to be Debian. And this is our floating IP. And what did I do wrong? Oh, I misspelled SSH, so it's gonna be SSH. I'm getting connection refused. I wonder if that instance is up and running yet. So let's go ahead and check on it here. You can look at the logs and see what the logs are saying. Oh, it seems like the instance is still booting up, so it's not ready yet. So let's give it another minute or so, and we'll try again. And it looks like in the log, we're at the login screen now. So I'm going to go ahead and try to connect to that instance again. And there you go. You can go ahead and say yes here. And oh, my permissions are bad. So since I just created this key and it just used the default permissions for new files. So our key permissions are too open. So we're going to have to go ahead and change the permissions. So it looks like right now we are 644. So we're going to have to make it to 600. So I'm going to say mod 600 and I'm going to give it the name of the key. So this is Debian key. And if I go ahead and try to connect now, that should get me in. And there it goes. You can see I'm logged in into my Debian 12 instance. So this is how you do it. This is how you go get a cloud image, download it to your machine, then go ahead, upload it to your OpenStack and start your new instance. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, please click on the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please go ahead, subscribe for my channel. Thanks for watching.